Henry's hero. Henry and Hero are both very strong engines. They can pull very heavy loads. One day, Henry and Hero went to fill up their tenders with coal. Nearly done, Henry. I hope there's enough coal left for me. We've got lots of heavy cars to pick up. Don't worry, Henry. There will be. Henry and Hero picked up their very heavy load from Farquhar Quarry. Then they hurried to the docks where they were needed right away. But as they made their way across the island, the steam from Hero's funnel began to look very dirty. Hero, Hero, there's dark smoke coming from your funnel. And from yours, Henry. I wonder what's wrong. Just then, Duck rolled past, pulling some empty coal cars. Oh, dear. Looks like you two got some of the bad coal that arrived today. Bad coal? I've been sent to get some fresh coal to replace it. Maybe we should wait until the fresh coal is ready. No, Henry. We can still run on this coal. We still have steam. We have to keep on puffing, Henry. We need to be really useful engines. Henry wanted to be a really useful engine, but he was very worried about the bad coal. I'm sorry, Hero, but I'm going to go back to the sheds until the good clean coal gets here. So Henry left Hero with all the cars and went back to the sheds. Hero was determined to keep going. Only now, he didn't have Henry to help him. Oh, dear. There are too many cars for me to pull on my own. Then, Hero had an idea. I can take half the cars on my own and come back for the others later. Half of Hero's cars were uncoupled and left on a siding. As Hero puffed along the tracks, his steam was smokier than ever. Yuck! What a horrible smell! Sorry, Gordon. I think I had some bad coal. Then perhaps you should have your firebox cleaned out. No time for that, Gordon. I have an important delivery. Hero puffed on determined to get his job done. <gasps> but as he headed for the docks, huh? a strange noise was coming from his firebox. Oh, no! I'm clinking and clanking now. What a racket! You sound like you've got your coupling rods in a twist. No time to talk, Thomas. I have more cars to collect. Everywhere Hero went, people looked at him and wondered what the noise was and what the smell was. Hero was determined. He picked up the rest of his cars and rushed back to the docks. At last, Hero arrived at the docks. He had delivered all of the cars. But then Sir Topham Hatt arrived. Ah, Hero, there you are. I need you to collect some iron girders from the smelter's yard for this ship. They will be very heavy, so you'll need Henry to be your back engine. Uh, uh yes, sir. But... But what, Hero? You need to get back quickly. The ship leaves at four. Hero knew he needed to get his firebox cleaned, but he couldn't say no to Sir Topham Hat. Yes, sir. But, Hero, why is your steam so dark and smoky? Hero just kept on puffing and clunking and clanking all the way to Tidmouth Sheds. Henry, I have taken all the cars from the quarry, but I need you to help me now. You were able to take all the cars, even with your bad coal? It wasn't easy, Henry. 
But sometimes you have to keep on puffing. Well, I did want to wait for the good clean coal to arrive, but if you can keep on puffing, Hero, maybe I can keep on puffing too. So Hero and Henry set off to the smelter's yard. Hero and Henry collected the flatbeds loaded with heavy iron girders. Hero pulled and Henry pushed. These are very heavy flatbeds, Hero. Keep puffing, Henry. We must get to the docks before the ship leaves. Henry and Hero puffed and chuffed. But now, Henry's firebox started to make some strange noises, too. My firebox is making lots of noise, Hero. Maybe we should go and see if the new coal has arrived yet. No, Henry. We don't have time. The ship leaves at four. Then, as Hero and Henry puffed up Gordon's hill, there was a very strange noise. But it wasn't Henry that stopped puffing. It was Hero. Hero? Why have you stopped? My firebox is blocked. I've broken down. I'm sorry, Henry. You were right. We should have tried to get the new call. Now we will never get to the docks on time. Don't worry, Hero. You taught me to keep on puffing. So that is what I'm going to do. Henry puffed as hard as he could, and slowly they started to move up the hill. Henry was pushing all the flatbeds, and Hero as well. Well done, Henry! Keep on puffing! Henry clunked and clanked and clattered and rattled. His wheels were wobbly and his axles ached, but he kept on puffing. The dock workers cheered for Henry when they saw him shunting Hero and the flatbed. Then Sir Topham Hatt came to see the engines. Well done. You got here just in time, Hero. And you managed to keep on puffing even with a very heavy load and bad coal. Thank you, sir. I couldn't have done it without Henry. He kept puffing even after I broke down. Yes, but, Hero, you were the one who taught me to keep on puffing, no matter what. Well, then, it's well done to both of you. Now you must both go to the steamworks to be repaired. Henry and Hero soon had their fireboxes cleaned out. They had some fresh new coal. They were happy to be getting back to work. Hero, you were right. Sometimes you can keep puffing, even with bad coal. <laughs> but it's much nicer with good, clean coal. <laughs> <laughs> so let's be really useful and get puffing again. <laughs>